Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you all... <laughs> okay. I do hope you lot are all doing well today, man. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Not Chelsea News, a Chelsea video regarding finances, a Chelsea spend this summer. How much revenue they've actually generated? Have they really outlaid that much money? Is there still loads of money to be made? from the players they currently have and they're trying and failing to sell. Yes! Today I'm going to tell you how much Chelsea have spent, but actually how much they've made this transfer window, this financial period, and how much they could look to make very, very soon. Chelsea could completely revamp their squad more so in a really smart way. Good financial terms there. Anyway, I'm going to tell you how much they've spent, made, and what they can make in today's video and speculate on stuff. Yes, it may be the international break, but football keeps moving, stories keep moving, and if you want to keep plugged in and updated, you should consider checking out the One Football app. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeed, man. If you click the link down in the description, you have access to the completely free service that is One Football. It keeps you updated with scores, fixtures, stats, transfer news, news, lineups, absolutely everything. Not just your club team, but also your international team. And hey, it's international week. The best time of the year! Seriously, I use it every day, super useful, super free. Click the link in the top of the description. Alright then, let's get into it. So the proverbial transfer window has slammed shut and Chelsea have conducted a lot of business. No deadline day business, but hey, that's okay. Incomings at least, I mean. But as we all know, Chelsea have won the transfer window eight new signings and if you're interested in getting my thoughts and reflections on said transfer window in terms of who we've brought in go check out the video i've done a couple of videos ago when i reflect on the transfer window as a whole beautiful scenes the domestic window is still open for the premier league to do business with the lower leagues and who knows we might see like the likes of a tomori go on loan to a top tier championship club Maybe Saeed Ben Rama is likely to join the Premier League, so keep your eyes on that. And there's probably still some business to be done. Wait a minute. Hold on. And it's probably at this point of the video I should offer you guys a disclaimer. All my information I've sourced from transfermarked.com. I can't pretend I've got any particular links to Chelsea Football Club and their financial books. So don't think here that I've got a particular in that you don't. I've just read on the internet and I'm displaying the information for you here giving you my opinion. So yeah, let's get back into it. So safe online sources, uh, Chelsea have spent in this period, in this summer transfer window, 222 million pounds. 222 million is a lot of money. But in fact, when you look at the amount of players they brought in, eight with three of them on free transfers, all the center halves, Thiago Silva, Melangsa, Xavier Umbiyamba, Pretty darn good. And generally getting good value for the players they brought in. Hakim Ziyech was good value. Uh, Timo Werner was certainly good value if you think about his buyout clause. And even Kai Havertz, if you look at the Jadon Sancho saga, Chelsea did pretty well as well getting Kai Havertz. So £222 million of course is a gargantuan spend, but they got a lot for their money. So how much revenue did Chelsea generate this period? Well they actually brought in £68 million, which is not awful, but the truth is that Eden Hazard money actually arrives this summer, so saith online sources. Now of course the Hazard fee has been said to be one thing and said to be another thing. Recent reports come out and said it goes up to 160 million euros, which is mental considering he had one year left on his deal. We know Chelsea got a big amount of money up front, around 100 million euros up front. And of course, they also received the bonus for Eden Hazard winning La Liga with Real Madrid. So let's say for the sake of it, 120 million arrives this window. That's 188 million arriving this summer to put up against their spend. Now, again, not a financial expert, but to me on the surface, that looks like a net spend of 34 million pounds. Oh. 34 million pounds. Incredible. So Chelsea just look like they're absolutely dominating the scene out here, but they've still got an inflated squad. Chelsea wanted to get rid of players. I've spoken about this before in another video that I've done recently. But for example, Chelsea can expect a few relatively high profile players to go out the door you know, in January, if not the next summer transfer window. Players that perhaps they would have liked to get rid of this summer, <laughs> had they got rid of them, they would not even have any net spend, which is incredible. They would have just generated revenue, probably, if I'm right, if these numbers are right. 
I'm just going to run for a few players that have two or more years left on their contract and speculate on a fee that perhaps they could generate at the end of the season or if not sooner when it comes to the left backs but probably next summer. First up Michy Bashwai obviously signed an extension so he could go on loan at Crystal Palace if he gets into the team if he's a starting striker and he starts instead of Ayu and plays with Zaha and Eze if he gets Crystal Palace firing and scores some goals there's a lot of ifs there maybe Chelsea can sell him to a mid-table Premier League team for 20 million pounds, he's in his prime, he's the second striker for Belgium. I don't think that's too mental, provided he has to do pretty darn good to reach that figure, but let's just say 20 million pounds. Next up, Ross Barkley. Now he looks like, he looks like he's gonna fit right in at Villa, doesn't he? He's in his prime, he play, he's an England international, granted he hasn't got the call up this time because he hasn't been playing, but Gareth Southgate likes him, I think he'll be back in. Chelsea were always going to make money on Barkley, they spent 15 million pounds for him. They were always going to double their money. He's got some years left on this deal. I think they still will double their money. If Aston Villa like him, they've got financial backing from their owners. I think they'd easily buy him for 30 million pounds. Provided he wants to go there, but it looks like he's gonna fit right in. It could happen. It's early days, of course, but I reckon he could be bought for 30 million. Now there's a few like smaller profile players I haven't mentioned, but I've thrown Kennedy in there just because, hey, why not? Kennedy, he's got a couple of years left on his deal, he's still young. Maybe Chelsea can generate 10 million pounds for Kennedy. They might want more to be honest, but just to make up the numbers, why don't we just throw 10 million into Kennedy? Now, Bakayoko. Bakayoko is one of these players that Chelsea looked at as a really saleable asset, and of course they could only get the loan over the line this window. And I think that's a lot to do with the financial climate and the difficulty at the moment. But even after another year down this contract, if Bakayoko does well at a big club like Napoli, if he can replace Alan. Even if it's not 30 million, let's be conservative. You've got to think he's worth 20 million pounds, Bakayoko. Chelsea would make a 20 million, well, about 15 million pound loss on him, ultimately for buying him. Maybe they'd make some back with loan fees, etc. Point being, you'd reckon if they do buy him, 20 million, surely. And finally, Emerson or Alonso, I think, will be out the door, whether it's January or next summer. Maybe one will stay. You know what? Both could probably go with Ian Matson another year of development. He could be the deputy behind Ben Chilwell. But let's just say for the moment, because one might go in January, let's say an extra 20 million there. That's not too ambitious, I think, for the profile of players who have both won trophies starting at Chelsea. So 20 million, and if you add up these figures that I've talked about from these players, it comes to 100 million pounds. 100 million. Chelsea are already pretty much done in terms of building this squad. You could argue they might just be looking for Declan Rice now, who would cost them, what, 50 million? 60 million? If they generate 100 million from these departures, there's still other players that could be sold around the fringes, your Victor Moseses and people like that. But these guys have got value. You'd think at least 100 million, more than enough to bring a new priority target of Declan Rice in. Then you've got a massive first team squad. You can also populate the fringes with more academy players that maybe wriggle their way in here and there. Like I said, Ian Matson at left back, maybe Tino Andrin, Conor Gallagher to like deputise behind, uh, behind Kai Havertz or something. Do you know what I mean? There's options there for Chelsea, but as long as they can generate a decent amount of revenue from these sort of. <laughs> Deadwood players that actually do retain value themselves, then we're in business. Chelsea haven't broken the transfer window of broken football. They've done an incredibly smart transfer business and generated a really decent amount of revenue here. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'm really keen on getting your thoughts and opinions on all the stuff I've spoken about in this video. So get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and feelings on this. If you've enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new because we're nearing 100k. You can be one step further to that landmark, man. So thank you very much. Other than that, enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby